Hi, I'm Sam Young, veterinarian here at the Greensboro Science Center. Today we're working on Angler, our four-year-old male fishing cat, who's due for a pre-shipment exam as he's heading to a new facility. We're also joined by two special guests from the Cincinnati Zoo who are helping to maintain healthy genetic populations in AZA institutions across the United States. Angler's conveniently located just next door to the hospital, so we're able to wheel him right over, and then we can administer anesthetic drugs safely while he's restrained in a squeeze cage. After about five to 10 minutes, Angler is fully anesthetized and we can safely remove him from the squeeze cage. We transport him to the table over here and administer an isofluorine gas via face mask um, that will help relax all his muscles further and keep him under anesthesia for the duration of our procedures. After a little bit, we will place uh, an endotracheal tube into his trachea so that we can take over respirations for him and protect his lungs from any vomitus or exudates that might come from his mouth. As part of Angler's physical examination, we'll take a look in his eyes, down both ears, in his mouth and look at his teeth, palpate his lymph nodes, extend and flex all of his joints, listen to his heart and lungs, and palpate his abdomen, feeling specifically for the kidneys and bladder. We updated his rabies and feline distemper, collected a blood sample for CBC chemistry and a viral panel, and get an updated body weight. Today it was 13.2 kilograms, which is a little over 29 pounds. Whenever we have an animal under anesthesia, we like to take the opportunity to collect as many diagnoses as possible. So today we're getting a full abdominal ultrasound on Angler, as performed by Guinevere, a fourth year veterinary student visiting from NC State University. We're looking specifically at the liver, gallbladder, kidneys, and bladder as well as the GI tract. As would expect from a healthy four-year-old cat, everything really looks great today. Again, maximizing our diagnostics when we have an animal under, today we're taking full body x-rays of Angler. This includes head, thorax, and abdomen in both a lateral and ventrodorsal positioning. Eagle-eyed viewers may notice a metal plate on Angler's forearm. This is from a fracture he endured when he was a kitten. You may notice the individual plate and then the screws that are attaching it to the bone. Today we're just taking another look at it to make sure all looks well, and it does. Dr. Barnes can explain more what her and her team are doing here today. My name is Julie Barnes. I'm a veterinarian postdoc researcher at Cincinnati's Crew, which is the Center for Conservation and Research of Endangered Wildlife. So we come in and we do reproductive exams on these animals and we just check to make sure everything's working great. And then we take a, a collection and we collect semen. So we analyze it, make sure it's looking good, motility looking great, it's moving along. And then we take that sample and we actually freeze it for future use, um, whether it is for an artificial insemination or AI, or if it's for um, in vitro fertilization. So how we collect the sample is we actually use a small probe that is inserted into the rectum to the level of the prostate. And what we're doing is supplying a small voltage, no more than a 9 volt battery, it's actually a little bit less. Um, and that actually stimulates either both the prostate and then the smooth muscle contraction. Then semen, um, our sample will be um, let out into our cup and we're able to collect it from there. And the awesome thing is that they'll extend their feet out and makes it means we're in the right position. So we love to see those paws out, those claws being extracted, it means all doing well. So after we collect the sample, we look at how the sperm is moving and how fast it's moving in a certain direction. So we like to see both of them moving and then actually moving forward because that's going to be our best quality of sperm. So we take a look at that. Um, and then after that, we like to get it in a media, we call it a holding media, to make the sperm nice and happy until we're able to spin it down and then put it into a freezing media before we're able to freeze the semen for later use. Um, we also actually also count the number of sperm per the volume that we have so that we can know how many, how the numbers of sperm we have. So he got 76 million modal sperm from that first sample, which is great. And that equates to about 11 AIs that we can do or those artificial inseminations. So the eye sperm is, comes with us so that we can look at the sperm under a computer animated system, which helps us look at the motility, the concentration, and how well that sperm is moving. Um, and it's a lot easier than the hard top systems they have. So we do a slow conventional freezing process. So after we've loaded the semen samples into the straws, they actually go into the refrigerator for about two hours. Then we take them out and we actually drop them into a liquid nitrogen, which is at a negative 320 degrees Fahrenheit. After finishing our procedures today, 
we give Angler a reversal injection and discontinue his isofluorine gas. At that point, we can move him to his kennel for full recovery. You may notice us touching around his eyes and potentially opening his mouth and closing it. This is a test for his level of consciousness and give us a heads up when he's starting to regain it. Anger looks great today, and we're really excited about his future at his new home. We're very thankful for the Cincinnati Zoo team and their work. The samples they collected today may play a crucial role in helping to guarantee healthy populations of fishing cats for generations to come.